Hey everybody, this is Jeremy with theonyxgroup.com. Uh, today we are going to work with the Uhuru Academy and I'm um, actually going to show you a video about uh, building a full, complete ravitry, uh, a hutch for them, and that way they'll be able to keep, a, I think about, th uh, well, two rabbits and they'll be able to um, grow, have a grow out pen for the baby rabbits, any baby rabbits that they produce. So um, this is going to be another agricultural science uh, video series and uh, we're basically going to build the complete rabbit hutch for them. Uh, the materials that we're going to use <coughs> is, uh, I think I have six, six two by four by eight, uh, and that's two by fours by eight feet. Um, and then I also have a, uh, I don't know the thickness, it might be, I don't know, maybe half an inch or three, three eighths or something, uh, but it's a sheet of uh, plywood. So it's, it's four feet by eight feet and I'm probably going to cut some of it off um, and that's going to be used as the, uh, as the top of the, the rabbit hutch. So the way I've kind of designed it, uh, if I've got all my plans and everything right, we should be able to fit two rabbit cages side by side, a male and a female, and then there's going to be probably a, I think a three foot long cage, 30, 30 inches deep by 36 inches uh, long that will actually house any babies or they can possibly even put a third rabbit in there if they want to. Um, but that's kind of the way we designed it. And this is part of their uh, agricultural science classes um, that we kind of partnered with them on. Um, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to build it and then I'll probably take some like snapshots and everything and, and kind of edit the video out so you guys can see most of the process. Um, and then hopefully I can get it done, it's about 10.30 now, hopefully I can get them out, out to them because I think they, they go to the MLK Center about, um, I think maybe one or two or something like that. So. I'm going to try to build it real quick uh, and get it out to them today and then I might even be able to go get uh, maybe another rabbit or something like that for them because we bought one and they named him Pharaoh uh, so I might try to figure out, I don't know if he's male or female or if it, it's a male or female but uh, that's, that's kind of what our plans are today and then uh, you know we'll go from there so hopefully the kids will learn, they'll get to learn about economics uh, they'll get to learn about agricultural science, they'll get to learn about, uh, you know, a little bit about gardening, a little bit about composting, um, you know, and, and kind of building a small uh, ecosystem for the rabbit. And then the way I've designed it is uh, it's actually going to also allow the kids to collect uh, rainwater and hopefully set up a, a, a cistern kind of rainwater uh, catchment. And this is part of what we partnered up with them to do. And um, basically what we're trying to create for the Marcus Garvey campus of the Uhuru Academy uh, in partnership with the onyxgroup.com is like a little uh, self-sufficient urban backyard uh, farm. And this is based off of the uh, Kuji Chagalia Village Project that we partnered up uh, with uh, Babakiti Obi Owadu. Um, and Babakiti, uh, he's with libradio.com. Um, he came up with the concept of the Kuja Chagalia Village Project. So we already had something going, we've been working on it, you know, small scale for about three years. It's really a self-contained system, and I'll have to do a video on that too. Um, but we changed the name to uh, the Kuji Chagalia Village Project uh, to show solidarity with uh, Baba Kiti out in, uh, I think he's in California. Um, and he's also got another one, I think it's in, I, I can't remember where that one is, but uh, um, you know, Angela Parker, one of the people that works with us, she actually connected with the one, I believe, it might be in Virginia, uh, if I remember correctly, but I'm not, I'm not really sure it'll hold me to that. Um, but so we're trying to link up and develop these Kuchichagalia Village projects, and we've got some other things down the pipeline uh, that we'll be able to do videos and show you guys actual work being done and actual self-sufficient buildings for our community. So I'm going to show, show you guys the uh, rabbit hutch which we're building today, and then we'll go from there. All right, so we're back again. So the steps that we're going to take, uh, first step that we're going to take to build the rabbit tree, like I told you guys before, uh, we're going to use uh, six um, two by four by eight feet long uh, pieces of wood. And then we're also going to use a uh, uh, four by eight sheet of plywood. And then, uh, I don't know what it's called, but I've got the, the wavy style of roofing. Uh, that's a generator. I'm not sure what my neighbor's doing. But I've got the, uh, the, the like this, this, I don't know what it's called, it's like a wave kind of sheet of, uh, of uh, plastic roofing material that you can get like Lowe's or Home Depot. 
uh, and I'll show you that in a little while. But I'm gonna I'm gonna cover the two by four, uh, the four by eight plywood with that roofing material, and then that's gonna allow the water to run into the uh, cistern. Is uh, I'm gonna take this and basically cut the two by four in half. So two by fours are not actually two inches by four inches. They're one and I think it's one and a half by I know it's three and a half wide. So what you have to do is you have to set your saw or your um, uh, circular saw or however you cut them on a table or whatever to uh, excuse me. You're gonna have to set it to one and three quarters of an inch uh, on the cutting. And that way you'll pretty much cut this in half so you, you'll actually have uh, 12 uh, pieces for, for the, uh, the ravitry hutch. Uh, and that's just kind of a way to keep the cost down. Uh, and it's still structurally, it's still strong enough because these pieces are actually uh, uh, still pretty strong even if you cut them in half. And it's just kind of a trick just in case so you guys can save a little bit of money and uh, you know still get your project completed. So that's the first step. I'm going to cut all these uh, six pieces of 2x4 down and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so we're back. I just wanted to uh, show you guys everything. So what we did was we cut out our uh, uh, six two two by fours um, into different pieces. So I've got uh, four pieces that are five feet long. Uh, and the reason why you have four pieces that are five feet long is because remember you cut out uh, a three foot two by four section. You cut two of those out, and then we still split the rest of that the wood. So we have four five foot tall sections. And what that's going to allow us to do is have the uh, the hutch. Uh, five feet tall and so those the four pieces that you have are going to be your legs and then you're going to take these two pieces that are actual still two by four by threes and you're going to use that to make the uh, get the get basically the angle right on the um, the top of the top of the roof and so what we'll probably do is drill a hole maybe here you know here 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 and that way we get the, the angle right to where the water is going to shed down and it's going to run into our uh, gutter system for for the, uh, the cistern. So for, because we're working with the kids, uh, we're only going to make it five feet tall. And that way, you know, we don't have to use a lot of material. And we also can, uh, can make sure that, you know, they can reach it and, and it's kind of their height so that they get a, a good um, experience. So what we're doing now, since we've got all our pieces cut out, uh, what we're going to start doing is making um, the the section that the uh, the rabbit uh, cages are actually going to sit on. So the way that we're going to do that is let's say this is a two by four uh, by eight, and remember we cut it in half. So that's our two sections, right? So that what we're going to do, because these are even, we're actually going to turn one side. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. We're going to turn it up like that. And then we're gonna le um, level them out this way, so that they're they're exact. And you want to try to match the two um, sections together because it, it makes it come together a little bit easier. But what that does is see this right here. It creates a little lip, so that the cages when they sit on here, they're actually it makes it hard for them to slide out because there's a little bit of lip. Because this this section right here is longer uh, than than this is tall. So when you turn it sideways, it gives you a lip. So what I'm going to do with these is attach them all. And what I'll probably do is use a, um, galvanized uh, three-inch screws. And that should go straight through. So I'm matching, lining everything up right. And that way, see, that's why you want to use a three-inch. Because it'll go into it and not come out the other side. So it'll be really safe uh, for the kids. And those, again, are... Um, Right for you. So it's just galvanized uh, exterior screws, and I'll make a uh, parts list at the end of everything, so that you guys kind of know. And um, the, you know, your prices in your area might change a little bit. I'm, I'm, they they might be the same at like a Home Depot or something, but they might change. I'm not really sure. But that's what we're gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is probably because they're not really supporting that much weight, uh, is just put maybe um, maybe two. Well, I'll probably put about four screws, maybe five screws in into one of these sections and you're gonna make two of these because one's gonna be the front where the where the rabbit hit, the rabbit hutches or the uh, rabbit cages sit and then you're gonna flip it around and, and the other one's gonna be the other side so you'll make two two of those like that 
All right, everybody. So we're back. I uh, got most of well the two sections built already. So basically, what you're gonna do is uh, remember how I showed you how to take this piece. This is that two by four piece, and this is what the cage is actually gonna sit on. And there's that lip right there. Show you. So you see how these two pieces come together? See that right here where they I've attached them. There's a little lip, and the cage is actually gonna sit like that. So what I did, this piece right here is the five foot piece. That's how tall the the uh, the uh, the hutch is gonna be. And then you attach it with a screw in here to this is one section. So you basically, the first step that I did was cut everything out obviously. And then I took uh, these two pieces right here, attached them with four screws. And I, I came in a little bit so that when I drilled into the side it wouldn't hit, uh, potentially hit this screw. So come in about maybe two, two and a half inches or so and just screw that first one. I used four screws on that, on this section right here. And then I only use one screw here. Uh, you can possibly use two, which might make it a little stronger. Uh, but when I went to stand it up, it kind of twisted a little bit. So what I did uh, to compensate for it was I took a, one of the pieces and I cut it into, since it's eight feet, I cut it into 16 inch sections. And that gave me, um, I think, six, six total of these pieces right here. So I cut it at 16 inches, and then I cut a 45 degree angle on it, uh, you know, to make it uh, use it basically as a side brace. So what you do is you take this, and then you, I screw it into here, and this is the uh, this is the piece that's going to be the, the height. And then I also let me see if I can pan around, screwed into there, so the screw basically goes straight through like that. So now whenever I stand it up it's really really strong so this gives it this side support piece gives it the structural integrity that you'll need to keep it from swaying back and forth and then uh, make sure you screw this all together or you can nail it I guess um, but make sure they're galvanized and if, if it's gonna be outside um, so basically what the structure that you have now is this H right here two support pieces and, and actually you're gonna look at it from this side because this is the bottom and then this is going to be on the inside and this is going to be on the basically the back so you have an H structure it's eight feet long plus uh, whatever the end pieces are I think this might be an inch and seven and seven an inch and three quarters so you basically do the same thing on the other side and then you have two H's look like that and there's the other one I kind of built them out in my uh, driveway and then there's uh, a couple of the pieces that I'm going to use on another part. So once you get these two together then basically what you do uh, is take uh, the top piece one of the other uh, sections that you cut out and you're going to attach it to the very top and I'll show you guys that once I get to it. Okay so I got the uh, top piece secured and um, this is basically what you want your structure to look like. So uh, Imagine that this, the rabbit cage is going to sit here, and this is basically going to, you're basically going to pick this up and move it exactly into place just like that. So this is, this is going to be the front, just like you're looking at it when it's completely assembled. And then your, your other piece is going to be a mirror opposite to it, uh, once it's together. But basically what you want to create is something that looks similar to this right here. Now everything is secured, so this piece can actually be picked up. And that's basically what um, what you're going to try to to build. So that's the structure of it. So basically, what we're going to have is uh, came up uh, a total of 30 inches. And uh, so from let's see if I can make sure I keep my strap out of the way. So right here, where that line is, I don't know if you guys can see that. That's 30 inches. So the cage is going to sit right on top of here and it's basically going to be like 31 inches off the ground and that should be about the right height about two and a half feet for the kids to uh, be able to access everything and, and to see it and to keep everything off the ground plus whenever they go to collect the uh, the, the rabbit waste for fertilizer for the gardens uh, they should be able to get under there with uh, you know shovels and, and hose and stuff like that so um, that's kind of the reason why, we, why I chose about 30 inches I think that's about the right height for them and then this right here it's a total of five feet 
so you've got enough room for the top of the cage and it's, it should be pretty uh, pretty secure under there all right everybody this is Jeremy again um, it's day two I'm actually out on site at the Uhuru Academy so I uh, just wanted to show you guys the setup that I'm gonna I'm gonna um, put for the ravitry uh, the hutch frame uh, basically is, is here so a couple of things that I had to do a little bit differently than I planned um, I built it wrong because I, I lost my plan so what I should have done instead of putting this piece the uh, the leg on the end I should have actually put it over this one and then it would have been perfectly eight feet so what I've got now is uh, it's eight feet plus I think that's maybe uh, maybe an inch and three quarters on both sides it's not really a big deal because I still have enough material so I'm, I'm just gonna have to you do a little bit more cuts so if you guys build this and replicate it um, make sure that you actually put uh, these pieces the end piece uh, over um, your pieces that you cut for the length and that way you will have a perfect uh, eight foot um, length on your hutch uh, it's not really a big deal um, because what I what I was able to do with it, and I've got my tripod set up with this thing, so bear with me. But what I was able to do, because I put the piece on the end, was put an end cap on there. So now what I have is see this area right here where the where the actual cage is going to sit is all the way uh, enclosed. So that, so the uh, as the rabbits are moving around, it shouldn't allow them to uh, go over that those lips. So I've got two edges right here, and that should keep all three cages secure. So uh, we went out this morning, even though it's Black Saturday, and you know usually we only spend money with uh, black-owned businesses on Saturday. Now let me take this off the tripod real quick. So even though it's Black Saturday, I had to unfortunately had to spend money with uh, with non-black-owned businesses. So I went to uh, Tractor Supply and uh, picked up a couple. Well, I picked up one rabbit cage. I had the other one at the house. So what we're going to be able to do is they already have Faro. Uh, he's in a 30 by 30 cage, I believe. Uh, so I bought a, another 30 by 30 cage. So that's five feet total. And then we're going to be able to uh, put another 30 by 36 cage for any babies or anything that, that they might uh, uh, Faro. I'm not sure if Faro is a boy or a girl. So I got to figure out the sex of Faro first and then get the, the second rabbit. So um, the kids will be able to learn about um, you know breeding rabbits and animal husbandry and everything. Um, and it is cold out here, guys. So you know <laughs> you guys excuse me because I'm freezing. But uh, you know the work doesn't stop, so it is what it is. Um, so the next phase right here, what I'm going to do right now is uh, I had to actually bring it out like this because um, I, I didn't want to put the roof on at the house. Uh, it's just it's too heavy, and I'm by myself right now. So. Um, this length right here what I'm gonna do next is take these two pieces and these are the three foot sections uh, that that I told you guys earlier but what I'm actually gonna do now is um, I'm gonna adapt the, the plans a little bit I'm gonna cut these to 30 inches and then I'm gonna cut these in half too and what that's gonna allow me to do is I'm gonna put uh, 30 inch sections in between both of these right here four four times so I'll put two on the end and then probably two every two feet or so uh, and that's going to let me support the roof and once i put the uh the two the the four by eight plywood on top and i'm gonna have to cut that down then um what it's going to allow me to do is is screw directly into those supports so it'll be really really strong um, so i'm going to do that next and then i'll show you um how i cut down the plywood so what i'm going to have to do is take this plywood over here and those are the two cages I bought uh, this morning. Well, one cage. I already had the other one. So that's my plywood. I'm gonna have to cut it 36. Uh, it's 48 inches. So I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna rip the uh, length of it. Uh, I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a foot off of it, and then that'll let me compensate for the extra. Um, the extra space. And that green stuff right there is like that plastic uh, roofing that you can get from Lowe's. So I'm, I'm gonna have to cut it a little bit to to adapt it because it's 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 not long enough either. It's only uh, like seven and a half feet. But I have two of them, so I have enough material to use, and that was kind of my original plan. So, even though I got I got to adapt it a little bit, uh, I still have enough material based on my original plan. So, I'm gonna get all that done and then shoot another uh, segment for you guys. Uh, we got the uh, roof put up. 
uh, for the hutch. What I basically did was take, uh, I have about, um, about an inch and a half uh, lip over the, uh, the side of the whole entire hutch. So this is the roof. Uh, I cut the uh, the four by eight um, plywood, and I cut it down. Uh, I took a I took a, a foot off of it, so it's actually 36 inches. Uh, the the width or the uh, the depth of the uh, the total hutch is 33 inches. So that leaves you with about an inch and a inch and a half on on both sides, all the way around. Um, and then, as you can see, I had to cut a custom piece for the end cap. Um, so and I used the, uh, the the spare pieces there uh, to just kind of cut it down, and then uh, basically right now what we have is uh, it's all the way around. So my next step from here is to put the uh, the roofing material on, and then it's pretty much ready to go. Okay, so we're here at the uh, Huru Academy on site. Um, today is uh, Monday, and the uh, the students are actually out here, so um, they're kind of working on hanging out. And this is the completed rabbitry. I still have a little bit to do to the roof. Um, so I'm gonna actually put shingles on instead. But it's pretty much, that's the way the setup is. So you have uh, one male rabbit, one female rabbit. And, and Pharaoh turned out to be a boy. So um, the other one that we gotta get is uh, Empress. Um, and then the other one, the other cage over there on the, the right side of the, the screen is gonna be for the, uh, the babies. So we'll have uh, one male, one female, and then they, uh, they'll have uh, baby rabbits set up. And that's what the uh, completed rabbitry will look like. And uh, it's eight feet tall, or eight feet long, uh, 33, 30 inches um, deep. And that way the, uh, the, the cages sit right in there. And they just go side by side, just like that. So one of them's 30 by 30. Well, two of them are 30 by 30 for the, for the actual rabbits. And then the, the baby uh, grow out cage is uh, 30 by 30. 36.